or something it could lead to the spread of COVID-19. News 11's Wally Jahari reports. The Valley is gearing up for the reopening of the U.S.-Mexico border, and at the Board of Supervisors meeting, concern was expressed over the possibility of seeing another surge in COVID cases. Concerns were raised at the Board of Supervisors meeting Tuesday. It's going to be great for our economy. This is fabulous. We've been fighting at this diet from day one. The problem is we're going to have an influx of people, and our numbers are going up. And that's something we cannot argue about. The public health department echoed on Escobar's comments. There's always a concern. Um, we understand that there's still transmission going on, and we are seeing a, a slightly higher uh, case rate than you know the prior week. So we're keeping an eye. The border will reopen for travel on November 8th. It'll open just in time for the holidays, which will bring crowds and gatherings. If you are sick or have COVID-like symptoms, don't host or attend a gathering and get tested. If you have symptoms of COVID-19 or have a close contact with someone who has COVID. Health experts say it is okay to celebrate this year, but caution must be exercised. And of course, social distancing is still a key for this. Social distancing is still the key. Uh, of course, it's not easy to do, but I try to do that. But some are happy with the mask mandate being lifted. Um, I think it's a step in the right direction. I'm really thankful that our Board of Supervisors voted that way. I think more can be done. Um, I think there's still discrimination against unvaccinated. And public health officials say if you're legible to get the vaccine to do so, that way you can celebrate this year's holiday season with a peace of mind. Reporting from El Centro, I'm Wiley Jahari.